Hey everyone, it's Mike. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about a new butcher shop in town. A butcher shop? Yes. The Herbivorous Butcher Shop. Might have heard about them in the news a little bit. Heard about them online. And it's in my town, so I did check it out. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. So here's my haul. Uh, it was a pretty good haul. Uh, I didn't get everything that I was looking for. Um, they, they're still getting supply chain stuff going on there. You know, they make it all in house. And so um, I did get quite a bit of stuff to try or a few things to try, I should say, not quite a bit. Um, but like I wanted to try their jerky and they didn't have jerky. Um, I wanted to try some of their cheeses and they didn't have cheeses. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to make a trip there again. Um, I can, I'm kind of busy right now, so I'm not gonna have time to start eating this until next week. But I thought that um, I would show you some stuff because uh, we did get some lunch meat that was pretty good. Um, like here's, um, what do we got here? Here's the deli ham that my wife has already gotten into a little bit. Um, they sell it by weight, um, just like at a regular butcher shop. This was uh, $15.98 a pound. Um, and its weight was, uh, uh, I ended up getting a, just over half a pound. So this is about almost nine bucks. Um, I'll give you a look at what it looks like. Um, you can kind of see, it's kind of got a, a red color here. Um, should taste pretty good. My wife says it's really good. Um, get a little, little piece. It comes uh, sliced up already. That's how you get it. That's really good. I call that a winner. Um, it tastes like a really well smoked ham did. Um, that would really fool me. I can tell you the ingredients in this. It's uh, vital wheat gluten, dull pineapple, and you know I can I can maybe see some pineapple in that. Hunt's natural ketchup, water, organic maple syrup, vegetable oil. Nutritional yeast, soy sauce, liquid smoke, organic light brown sugar, less than 2% is salt, organic beetroot powder, black pepper, and something I can't pronounce, Kappa Kariyanjinen, I'll put the name down below. Um, yeah, but it's very tasty. Um, Looks like my wife's been in a turkey too, so I'll, I'll take a taste of that. Um, this looks a, a different color. And maybe kind of see that. And we'll uh, try a little piece of that. That's really good. Um, I'm not sure that I would say it's a, a turkey flavor exactly, um, but it's a it's a flavor that's good. You know, it's not like um, sometimes when people try to copy meat uh, and they can't get it, it tastes weird or like you can't can't even really describe the flavor that you're tasting. 
Um, this tastes like something real and uh, it doesn't taste weird. Um, it does have some turkey in there, but not, not like uh, a smoked turkey or something like that you might have, but it's good. I like that. That's probably really good on like a sandwich with some avocado and some tomato and oh, I bet that would be so tasty. Um, here's the Italian sausage, also sold by the pound. This is a uh, $11.49 a pound. I just got two sausages for now because I knew I wouldn't have time to eat a bunch. Um, we'll take a look at it. I'll show you an example of the sausages. Sausages come in, in long lengths like this. Um, Mm, smells great. That's going to be really good. Um, probably do that in a, in a tofu scramble some morning. One of those will go that way. Um, maybe Monday morning. Um, the other thing I got was a sriracha brat. I just got one um, just because I wanted to try it. I haven't uh, I've heard lots of people talking about sriracha, but that hasn't been something that I've really had much uh, of a taste for. Um, or really an opportunity to taste it. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. This one will be on a bun uh, with uh, all kinds of fixings on it. Um, and the other thing I got was uh, pepperoni. Uh, the pepperoni comes in, in like a large section and then I'll have to slice it up. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, trying this on some um, Dea pizza or um, uh, some other vegan brand pizza. Uh, maybe just like a, a, a Dea cheese pizza and throw some pepperoni on it and see how that tastes. Um, yeah. So, that's my haul. Uh, not a lot of stuff, but it's enough stuff to taste it out. Um, let me know uh, what you think about this stuff. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for their website and then you can look at the stuff that they have for sale. Um, I will do some videos reviewing the things that I have as far as taste and going a little bit further. Yeah, if you see some stuff on their website, uh, put down in the comments below what you think would be interesting to review and I'll uh, pick some of it up. I'm looking forward to trying some of their cheeses. Um, they do have this uh, porterhouse steak that my wife is really interested in, so I'll, I'll have to pick that up. And uh, yeah, let me know. Um, I think it's really great uh, that a place like this is uh, first in Minnesota. You'd usually expect this in say Los Angeles or New York or something like that. Um, but to see this in Minnesota, I, uh, I plan to try to patronize their uh, uh, store as often as I can. Uh, I want to show support for these type of places and make sure they know that they're uh, wanted and needed. Um, so yeah. What do you think about places like this opening up? Uh, I know there's been drama about them using the, the butcher name in there. Um, but the herbivores uh, butcher shop is doing uh, similar things as that what other butcher shops do. Um, and so I don't really have a problem with it myself, but I'm not a butcher. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you give this video a like if you like it, a uh, thumbs down if you don't like it, and uh, let me know what you think. Um, what kind of things would you like to see uh, me taking a look at, uh, food related and stuff. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it. Um, it's great, this vegan community, um, and we'll see you next time. Bye.